everybody, it's Lila with Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this Valentine's Day ombre gradient tumbler. Like always, all of my materials will be listed in my description below, including some links and coupon codes. And for all of my beginner viewers, there will be a lot of help tutorials down in the description as well. This decal is available on my Etsy shop and that will also be linked in the description. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this tumbler tutorial. I'm starting with this 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler. I sanded this tumbler down, wiped it down with 91% alcohol, and then I painted the tumbler white. You can also spray paint your tumbler if you like. I'm going to show you all these glitters that I will be using on this tumbler. They will be listed in the description below, including a coupon code from Glitter Heart Co. Instead of pouring the glitters right from the bottles, I decided to use a one ounce cup for each color because everybody knows I have a very heavy hand. So I just pour them inside these one ounce medicine cups just to have more control over the glitters. This is completely optional. It's just it's easier for me when I place the glitter on the tumblers. I'll be using the Mod Podge method to apply my glitters on my tumbler. If you want to use any other method like the spray adhesive method or the epoxy method to apply your glitters, go ahead and use whichever method is easier for you. And then I start by placing the darker colors on the outside of the tumbler and as I go uh, towards the middle of the tumbler, I place a lighter color. So you'll see I started with this sweetheart on the bottom and then I'm going to place that also on the top. And you'll see that the top part, I uh, accidentally dumped it on there because I'm heavy handed. So the top is a little bigger than the bottom, but that's okay. And then I'm adding the made you blush. Whenever I add these colors, I am pointing that new color on top of the already laid color. So that's how you kind of get that blend. So it blends well. So I'm laying um, this bashful over the Meiju blush and then it blends. And then I lift my cup up higher with the glitter as I go towards the center of the tumbler. And then I just keep adding my glitters from darkest to lightest with that Mod Podge still on. The Mod Podge won't dry I am working quicker than what I would usually work. But if you're using the epoxy method, then the epoxy method, you can probably go a little slower than using the Mod Podge method. Once I'm finished applying my glitters to my tumbler with the Mod Podge method, I always go back with a spray adhesive. I'm using the Elmer spray adhesive and I spray some on my tumbler and then I go back in with my glitter. So you can see I sprayed some on the bottom. I went back to spray more on areas that I needed more glitter and that way it allows me to touch up my tumbler more. Any areas that I want more ombre, more glitter or anything of that nature, using the spray adhesive method is very simple and it gives your tumbler that overall ombre or gradient look. I do this sometimes three or four times back and forth just to touch up my tumbler in areas where I might have not have gotten any glitter in the first place. Using the spray adhesive after already placing that first coat of glitter is probably my biggest tip for achieving that perfect gradient or ombre look. Uh, that's why I like to use the Mod Podge method when doing any type of ombre or multiple colors. It's because it's easier to use that spray adhesive after you place Mod Podge than it is epoxy. And then once I'm finished with applying all the glitters onto the tumbler, I'm going to go ahead and place that glitter on the bottom of my tumbler. I typically wait till last to do the bottom so I can stand my tumbler upright whenever I'm applying those other glitters on the tumbler. Once 
once I have all of my glitters placed on my tumbler, I go in with my Krylon Crystal Clear acrylic coating and I spray two generous coats of this all around the tumbler before I go in with my epoxy and it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to completely dry. Once that acrylic sealer was completely dry, I then went in with some epoxy on this tumbler. This is the first coat of epoxy I'm adding to the tumbler. So I am adding 25 milliliters of epoxy total to the tumbler. I want a nice seal of this tumbler, but do keep in mind there will be additional two coats of epoxy added to this tumbler. So I don't wanna over add my epoxy. I am using my quick coat epoxy. So it's going to take about two hours to dry to the touch until we move on to that next step. And once my tumbler's epoxy was cured on my tumbler, I went in with my 220 grit sanding block and I sanded all around the tumbler. This happens a lot. You have to sand after you apply your epoxy over your glitter. Sometimes you have some glitter peeking through the epoxy. No big deal. Just go ahead and sand all around the tumbler. And then I took a 180 grit sanding block and I used that around the rim. This is to uh, create that seal. So take off all of that rim of the epoxy. And so whenever we add that other coat of epoxy, you'll be able to create that seal. After that, I wiped it down with my 91% alcohol, and then we're going to move on with this decal. This decal is available on my Etsy shop. It will be linked down in my description below, and I also will have the type of vinyl I use along with a direct link and a coupon code for you to use. Once my decal was applied to my tumbler, I went in with my quick coat from CC DIY. This is a sealer that I always place over my decals, especially those fine decals that I apply to my tumbler. A lot of times when you epoxy your tumbler, the decals tend to lift or kind of crinkle. So this prevents that and this is amazing and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to dry. Once this is completely dry, we'll move on with adding the next coat of epoxy to the tumbler. And going in, adding the next coat of epoxy to my tumbler. I am using about 15 milliliters of epoxy total on my tumbler. This is because I am going to add some glitter to my tumbler. So this coat of epoxy isn't to seal the entire image and design in. This coat of epoxy is to act as kind of an adhesive for that glitter that you're going to see me add to the tumbler. So if you do have some parts of your tumbler that's still peeking through that epoxy, or if that decal isn't completely covered with that epoxy, don't worry about it. This is just the second out of three coats of epoxy layers that we'll be adding to the tumbler. And as you see me grabbing all three of those colors, I took each color individually and pinched them like salt and added them to the bottom of the tumbler. I took my time while adding these colors. I just went one by one and then I filled in any blank spots. This process or steps is completely up to you. If you wanna completely skip this step, go ahead and skip it. Or if you wanna add more colors or if you want more a, a higher ombre up higher towards your decal, your center of your tumbler, make these tumblers however you like them and customize them the way that you want them to be customized. And again, I'm using my fast set epoxy. So this is going to take about two hours to dry to the touch. And once this is completely dry, we'll move on with the next step. Thank you. 
Now that my tumbler is completely dry, you can see it is dry to the touch. I'm taking my 220 grit sanding block and I'm sanding specifically the bottom of the tumbler where I added the glitter. Be sure that you're not pressing down too hard with this step. You don't wanna sand away any of the glitter that you added to the bottom of the tumbler, but you wanna make sure that you are sanding enough to have that smooth surface so you can add that final coat of epoxy. After I sand the tumbler, I added my 91% alcohol, removing any dust or particles that may have added to the tumbler, and then I'm going in with my final coat of epoxy. I am using 15 milliliters of epoxy total for this final coat because I already have so much epoxy on this tumbler and I shouldn't need a lot to seal in my decal. Once the tumbler's epoxy was dry, here is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumbler and craft videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.